So we are back with another collection that I bought from a viewer of the channel, and I'm pretty excited for this one. We have a lot of complete unboxed Nintendo stuff, complete unboxed PlayStation stuff, and we even have this custom painted Pikachu themed CRT TV with a matching N64 controller. And as you can kind of see here, we have a little sneak peek of some of the Pokemon games, N64 games, uh, all complete in box, and a lot of cool stuff. So let me know down below what your favorite item is when you finish watching the video. But basically, we're gonna go through everything, unbox everything, and see what we got. So we're gonna start with these N64 games, and if you have a keen eye, you might notice something is weird about these, and, and I'll show you. So the first thing you'll notice about these N64 games is they actually have this plastic protective covering around the outside that protects the cardboard. I actually really like these. These work really well, and they don't cost too much. And if you take a close look at this box, you'll notice it is not a legit copy. So the game is a legit copy, but the box and the cardboard insert is like a third-party printed thing. I'm not even sure where this came from, but I think you can buy them online and probably on eBay or Etsy or something, but it's basically a reproduction. It's easy to tell if you run your hand across it, you'll know it's not an actual cardboard box from Nintendo. Um, now this looks pretty legit, but it's not. And then the game is legit, which is honestly the main thing that matters. And no, I, di I didn't pay as if this was complete in box. That would, you know, this would be worth a whole lot more if it actually was complete in box. But this is how all the N64 games are. They have this uh, third party box and insert, which I guess are kind of cool if you don't want to spend the money to buy a complete in box, like a real one complete in box. But of course, if you're selling something like this, you got to make sure people know that they're not buying a legit cardboard box. And then we have the same thing for Super Smash Bros, uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, and GoldenEye 007. Now these look really nice on the shelf because they, from, from a distance, they look legit, uh, but they're just, they're not. But the good thing is all the games are legit. I have checked them already, so that's the that's the main thing that matters. So next up, as you can see, we have some Pokemon games for the Game Boy. But real quick, I just wanted to tell you that if you want to see your collection in a video like this, make sure to hit that link down below to my website. My website is called jrobgaming.com. If you go to the Sell Your Games tab, you can fill out a form and tell me what you want to sell, and I'll let you know how much I can pay. And then I'll put an unboxing video either on my main channel or my second channel, uh, kind of depending on what the value of the collection is. But uh, yeah, so we have some Pokemon games here, and these are kind of the same deal as N64 games. They all have fake cases for the most part. There are a couple, which I'll show you in a second, that have the actual case. So these are all really nice and they're in the protective cases, but they are the same like fake kind of printed case, but I have verified, I've opened them up and they, they have the real game in them. Um, and then of course these are real. Uh, I haven't seen any like reproductions of cases like these, but Pokemon X and Y. And then right here are the two versions that actually are legit. So we have Pokemon Sapphire version for the Game Boy Advance. And this box is authentic, it looks better and you can kind of tell by the feel. And it's actually complete in the box as well. You have your game, you have all your inserts and the box, so uh, pretty neat. And then we also have this Pokemon Soul Silver version for the Nintendo DS that's complete in the box. I'm not gonna take it all the way out, but it is pretty neat, I opened it up. It's got everything in it. Uh, even has the Pokewalker in it, so pretty sweet. And then next up, got a couple uh, consoles. So first of all, this is actually just a Game Boy Advance box. It's actually a Japanese one, not even a US version. It's got an insert in it. There's no Game Boy in there. The Game Boy is somewhere else. And then we do have a Game Boy Color complete in the box. This one is legit, looks pretty sweet. And it actually has, I'm pretty sure it has all the inserts in here. It does down there, I believe. And then we have the Game Boy Color itself. And yeah, here's the Game Boy Color. It's actually in really nice condition. Even the labels on the back look really nice. So next up we have a console and then I have a bunch more games to show you. So we have Game Boy Advance SP. Uh, and by the way, this is not the only console left. We have like 10 or 15 more consoles, but uh, we have this Game Boy Advance SP in a nice shell. I'm not sure if it's a reshell or not. I haven't actually really looked into it that much, but I think it is a reshell. Um, either that or it's just straight from Japan. It actually says Japan on there, so it might just be a Game Boy Advance from Japan. Haven't really looked into that too much, but the Japanese, this box is Japanese. And next up, we have a bunch of games to go through, so I'll just kind of show you what I got. So we have Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess HD, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Super Smash Bros. Wii U, Mario Kart Wii, Mario Party 9, Michael Jackson, The Experience for the Wii, Just Dance, Wii Play, I'm not sure what happened to this, but it's got a bunch of like splattered paint on it or something. So I get asked a lot, uh, what do I do with all the stuff that I buy? So uh, first of all, I'll pick the stuff out that I want to keep in my personal collection and I'll just, you know, put it in my personal collection. Anything I don't keep, I will resell either on my website, uh, Amazon, eBay, whatnot. And speaking of whatnot, I'm actually giving away a PS5 soon. So uh, let me tell you about that. So I just wanted to pause real quick and tell you guys that I am giving away a PS5. All you gotta do is use the link down below to sign up for whatnot, then you gotta follow me on whatnot, and then you have to be present in the live stream when I give away the PS5 and you'll be entered to win for free. And if you don't know what whatnot is, it's basically an app where I can live stream and sell video games at the same time. So let me show you the process right now. So all you gotta do is click on the whatnot link down below in the description. But once you click on the link, it'll say Jacob R gave you $10 on whatnot credit. You'll click claim your credit and then you will sign up. Once you've signed up, you'll go to the WhatNot app. Once the app opens up, click on the gift icon up at the top and you should see your $10 in credits. If you don't, send me a message so I can get it fixed. Then you go to the search icon, type in Jacob R. 
then click on users and you'll see my name at the top click on that and then click follow and then go down below and bookmark all my shows so you know when i go live and if you go in here you can actually go to my store and go ahead and go to buy it now and i'll have some goodies down there that you can use your ten dollar credit on uh, so make sure not to miss out all right so back with some more games we have pokemon sun for the 3ds metal gear solid 3 for the ps2 pokemon battle revolution Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkachi um, 3. Not sure if you have, that's how you say that. We got a Yu-Gi-Oh game for the GameCube. I think this is actually a pretty valuable game. We actually have uh, this little Ultimate Saves memory card in here, which is kind of interesting to see. Uh, we also have Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. You got Pokemon Coliseum, which is a fairly, I don't know if, I don't know if rare is the right word, but it's a pretty valuable game. And we also have Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a manual in here. Yeah, no manual, but we do have the game. And this is an interesting case. I've never actually seen a case like this. And then two more games I almost missed. We have two more N64 games, which are not in a box or anything. We have Pokemon Stadium and, oh, that's Pokemon Stadium 2 and Pokemon Stadium. So next up, I want to show you a few of the uh, consoles I have. So this is a GameCube in the box. It's not complete in the box because there's no inserts or anything, but it does at least have the box. Um, but yeah, here's the console. And as you can see, it's in, it's in pretty decent shape. Nothing crazy going on. It is a little bit yellowed on the front, which is, that's pretty typical. And deck back here on the back, I'm actually, actually interested to see if there's anything in these little compartments. Sometimes people store money or uh, illegal substances there. Next up, we actually have a PSP, and let's check this one out. It is in the uh, PSP 1001 box, and it's not quite complete. We have our PSP here, which looks to be in pretty nice condition. And then if we open up this flap, we have our manual, uh, charger, all that good stuff. So this one almost is complete, and uh, that's always nice to see. And then next up, we have a Nintendo Wii complete in the box. So this box actually had one of those protective covers on it, and as you can see, it's really benefited because it, you know, it doesn't look damaged or anything. And if you slide things out, we have our Nintendo Wii here, and we have uh, our other stuff down there. Not really organized right now, and I'm actually not sure if this is the right Wii to go with this console because this is actually never mind. I thought this was going to be the black Wii that does not have uh, the GameCube ports, but it does have the GameCube ports. And it actually has the Wii with Wii Motion Plus inside. I'm still not sure. Actually, there's two Wii remotes. But I'm still not sure if this is the correct Wii to go in this specific box. But uh, regardless, it's it's nice to have it in the box. So next up, we have a couple consoles I'll go through. Uh, so as you can see, we have a Nintendo Switch complete in the box. Pretty nice condition. I think there is a puncture on the back. Yeah, there's a puncture there. Nothing too crazy. But I believe this thing is fully complete in the box. Let's check it out and see. Nice. So... <laughs> The interesting thing is that about this collection is a lot of stuff kind of mismatched. So as you can see, the box is shows the blue and red uh, Switch controllers, but it has the gray ones inside. Um, there's a, I'll show you later, but there's some other boxes that don't match up, but they're you know they're just boxes. And then, but uh, yeah. Oh, what in the world? I guess that's just a skin. So we have a Zelda skin on the game pad or the uh, little controller there. We also have a skin on the dock, which I was not expecting. And another thing I noticed is this uh, this charging brick is third party which is interesting never actually used third party back for the switch but it's just kind of uh yeah there's just some random it's a really nice collection but there's just a few random things that are kind of like mismatched and i'm not sure why or how but um it's not a huge deal and next up we have a ps2 complete in the box this one is also in a protective cover which is nice to see and actually i don't remember if it's complete in the box or if it's just just the box in the console but we're about to find out uh, so we have a couple of controllers here, got all your cords, open up a little bit more, and we have the console. And so it's not quite complete, um, but it does have the console and the, uh, it actually has a network adapter in here, which is cool to see. So next up, I'll show you some accessories and some more games. So first of all, we have this PS3 Bluetooth headset, which is actually sealed, kind of interesting. Um, next up, let me show you some more games. So we have this game, which I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's the uh, action replay for the GameCube. We got some PS3 games here. We have Tales of, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Looks like it's a nice condition. Tales of Graces, uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby. Not sure how I missed a Pokemon game earlier, but I did. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, Tekken Tag Tournament, Namco X uh, Capcom, which is actually a Japanese game. Uh, Metal Gear Solid for PS2, Xeno Saga Episode 1 and then Xenosaga Episode 2. And then back to the accessories, we actually have some interesting stuff in here. So we have another Game Shark in here, I believe for the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, it's our Game Boy Color. Um, and some Link cables. And then in this baggie in here, we have an N64 transfer pack. And then this baggie right here actually has a custom DMG Game Boy, which is black and don't see any corrosion on the battery terminals, which is good to see. And I guess we might as well go ahead and test it out. So I put some batteries in and then I'm gonna put in Pokemon Silver and we'll see if this thing boots up. So after I slid the game in and out a few times, it finally loaded up. 
uh, probably means it just needs to be cleaned up, so I'll, I'll clean up this game. But uh, yeah, it does work, which is uh, obviously good to see. And then the last thing in this baggie is a Shark MX for your Game Boy, so uh, another Game Shark. And next up, we have a few games to go through. So we have uh, Metroid Prime for the GameCube, complete in the box. We've got uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We have Legend of Zelda Wind Waker in this playback video games case. Never even heard of them. I'm not sure where they're from, but we do have the game in there. Um, same thing with this one, which is Soul Calibur 2. And then we have Super Smash Bros. Melee. We have Tales of Symphonia, um, which is in like an aftermarket type of case. We have Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. We have uh, Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. We got Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkachi 3. Uh, Naruto. And then Star Ocean till the end of time. So we're making progress, but we still got a good bit of stuff left. Now this one is interesting. This has a PS4 Slim box, clearly, as you can see. But when you open it up, there's a PS4 Pro in here. Um, so I'm not sure why he had a PS4 Pro, but a PS1, a PS4 Slim box. Yeah, so when you open it up, clearly that is a PS4 Pro. It's got three layers, but it is in a PS4 Slim box. I don't know, just weird. Now this PS3 right here is kind of the same deal. So as you can see, it's a PS3 Super Slim box, but it actually has a PS3 Slim inside of it. Again, not sure why they're mismatched like that, but um, I, I don't know, just, just kind of odd. So back to some more games. We have Soul Calibur 3 for the PS2. Wii Sports Resort, uh, Pokemon Moon, another missed Pokemon game, and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. And then we have Final Fantasy Tactics for the PSP. We have Dissidia Final Fantasy for PSP, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition, great game, one of my favorites of all time. Uh, Mortal Kombat X, Injustice, Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, Naruto, another Naruto, uh, Rampage Total Destruction, Kingdom Hearts, and Sonic Mega Collection Plus. And then after that we have Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Kingdom Hearts, and then a few PS3 games here. We have Black Ops, we have Modern Warfare 3, which actually, this is not a legit cover art. That's weird. It looks like a reprinted cover art. Okay, so there's another copy of Black Ops in here, plus Modern Warfare 3. Kind of weird. And then we have Tales of, again, not going to try to pronounce that. And then this one right here is pretty cool. We have this Tales of Symphonia Chronicles Collector's Edition, complete, uh, sealed. It does have a little cut here, but other than that, it's completely sealed and unopened. And next up we have a 3DS XL Galaxy Style. This console is pretty sweet. It is in the box. Unfortunately, it does not have the inserts, I don't think, if I remember correctly. I think it's just the console. So yeah, just the console, but the console looks pretty nice. It is a bit scratched up, but nothing super crazy. Yeah, it's a bit scratched up. And there's actually no stylus. <laughs> um, screen needs to be cleaned. Got a bunch of fingerprints on it. Uh, but I have turned it on earlier and it did work. Uh, but this is, honestly, this is like the, the coolest 3DS. So next up we have a few more consoles. We have a PS Vita complete in the box. And yeah, as you can see, this one actually is complete. Got the console, all the inserts, all that good stuff. And next up we have a Wii U in the box. I'm not gonna open this one up. It's pretty straightforward. I've already taken a look inside of it. And then after that, this one is pretty interesting. So this is a Nintendo 64, uh, but it's not actually a legit box. So like, as you can see, it says PAL version down here. And it's just like a reprinted box. I actually looked this up and found one that you can buy on like a random site. I guess just bought it for his display or whatever, but it has the console and stuff in here, but there's no, there's not like any inserts or anything as you can see. Um, but again, another, another interesting thing from this collection. So there's still a few more things that are worth taking a look at. So we have this PS1 in the box, uh, kind of the same deal as the PS2 where it's in the correct box and everything, but it doesn't have all the inserts and whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna open that all the way up, but then we have this custom Game Boy Advance, which is pretty cool. So if you open it up, we actually have this black Game Boy Advance, which I believe has, yep. Yeah, so it's rechargeable. USB-C. It has some custom stickers on the back. I'm not sure if it has any power. It does have power. Cool. So it does work. And let's actually try a game in here and make sure it works. So so it does work, although the screen seems to be a little bit of a different tint uh, than I would expect. So I don't know if it's a special kind of screen. Not sure what screen is in here, but I'll have to investigate that. And here's a little stack of Game Boy Advance games. We got a Dragon Ball Z game, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, another Dragon Ball Z. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. We got another Yu-Gi-Oh. Actually, excuse me, that's not Yu-Gi-Oh, that's Yu-Yu uh, Yarusho. Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, Kirby, Dream Land, and then we've got Shining Force, Resurrection, what does it say? Resurrection of the Dark Dragon. And so last but not least in this collection, we do have this really cool custom painted uh, Pikachu themed CRT TV. Uh, you probably can't see me on the screen now, but uh, yeah, this thing, just take, a, just take a look at it. It's pretty cool. Uh, it is custom painted, you know, yellow and blue on the back. 
And then we also have this custom painted N64 controller. Um, but yeah, just a pretty cool set. Not sure who painted it for him, but I don't know. Just It's just cool. So there's one more thing I forgot about. We actually have this Tekken controller, which is pretty sweet if you're a big fighting fan. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. And of course, like I said, if you want to see your collection in a video like this, make sure to hit the link down below and go to the Sell Your Games tab. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.